Let's make one of my new favorite raw vegan soups, tomato coconut. If you enjoy recipes like this, head over to our website, payhip.com slash rawfoodromance and enjoy 40% off our recipes with code rawfood40. So let's make our soup. About an hour before eating, put your frozen veggies and fresh veggies onto a mesh dehydrator tray. I like to use frozen peas that I froze from fresh, as well as cauliflower, carrots, and red onion, anything that you want to add as a chunky part of your soup, put that on a tray and then head over to the dehydrator and dehydrate these vegetables for approximately one hour at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Once they have been dehydrated, they will be a little bit more flavorful and softer, so they'll do really good in soup. And right before eating, you're gonna wanna blend the soup base so it's ready and warm when you make your soup. So we're starting with dates and tomatoes and some fresh young coconut, green onion stalks, garlic, apple cider vinegar, miso, chia seeds and onion powder. And our secret ingredient for today is tomato powder along with our spices, curry, chipotle, turmeric. I really like mirage chilies. You can add any spices you like to this. And of course, two cups of water. So we're gonna blend it now. And I like to use the BioChef vacuum blender attachment for the old school Vitamix bases because it sucks up some of the air. So you're not blending a bunch of air bubbles in, especially considering you need to blend this for about two minutes on high speed. This will slightly warm it up to an acceptable raw temperature. While that is blending, take the veggies out of the dehydrator. They should look a little bit like this, and you're gonna add them to a bowl. Add your warm soup base to your chunky vegetables and mix it thoroughly. Now this is one serving, but you could share it with somebody and have a salad on the side. This is an amazingly delicious tomato coconut soup. And again, you can use any chunky ingredients you like. You can top it with some dried chives, some dried parsley, and a little bit of red pepper flakes if you want it to be a little extra spicy. So here we go, this is our soup and I hope you enjoy. Again, if you really love these recipe videos and you wanna enjoy more of our recipes, head over to our website at payhip.com slash rawfoodromance, use the code rawfood40 and get a 40% off discount off our eBooks. If you like videos like this, please also don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications whenever I post a new video. And until the next one, my friends, I love you all so much and fruit on.